Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikki Muscle from MitigateStress.com. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be discussing our flagship product known as the Master Mineral Drink, magnesium bicarbonate. We do believe that magnesium bicarbonate is the most potent, bioavailable, natural, and pure form of magnesium on the planet. It's the one that the body most easily recognizes. And it's what should be in our natural water supply, but thanks to acid rain, modern industrialization, pollution, water treatment facilities, a lot of the chemicals that have reconstituted the water, it's been virtually stripped everywhere in the modern world. There are exceptions, we're not gonna talk about that today though, but we do believe it is far superior than any form, even any chelated form of glycinate, biglycinate, citrate, acetate, oxide, even three and eight, which is a newer one in the last five years or so that people have been talking about and jumping on the bandwagon. And everyone's saying that it crosses the blood brain barrier, but as Dr. Ray Pete, PhD, suggests, that all forms of magnesium do that. So it's kind of nonsense. A lot of people don't talk about magnesium bicarbonate. So I want to start doing more videos on it. I want to start flooding the algorithm, YouTube, blogs, more with it. We've done a couple articles. We talk about this. I'll link some down below but not a lot of people talk about this. Most people just badmouth it and say that's an antacid, but it's unfortunate because it is the most electrifying, bioavailable, and again, easily absorbed form of magnesium on the planet. Some people estimate it to be over 70 to 80% absorbable, and some other forms can be 20%, 30%, maybe 40% absorbable. So you get a lot more bang for your buck. You're actually saving money when you consume this, and you're able to uptake more with less side effects. I noticed whenever I consumed other forms of magnesium, I've tried thousands. I've spent over $30,000 of my own money in the last 20 years destroying my health, working with doctors, specialists, family, friends, advice, practitioners, all of it, and spending a lot of money on supplements. And I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd suggest that 99% of the supplements out there are a complete waste of money and possibly cause more harm than good. Most people just need a fresh farm food diet with bioavailable rich nutrients and then just magnesium bicarbonate, maybe some shilajit, so they get some macro minerals and trace minerals as well. But the problem is, again, no one really talks about magnesium bicarbonate. You don't need many supplements, you just need high quality supplements. Now one thing is a lot of people say that they save money by making their own. I wanna talk about that a little bit today as well. And it kinda makes us laugh because there are some leading brands of high quality hydroxide that we see that are being sold. And you can buy them, they're very overpriced, but by the time you add the math up with how much hydroxide that we actually use in this product before we convert it into bicarbonate, it ends up being virtually the same price, give or take maybe $4 or so. But then you get a nice glass bottle, it's already pre-made, and it goes through a process that you can't really replicate at home with a soda stream. A lot of people just like shake a bottle up. It is not even remotely the same. You don't get the same potency. You don't get nearly the same quality. Plus we also add potassium bicarbonate and sodium as well. If you are consuming magnesium, it's important that you have bioavailable calcium coming into your diet naturally. It's very, very important as well as sodium, whether it's Icelandic sea salt or seafood and potassium. Very, very important that you get the other macro minerals as well because it's just gonna act as like cofactors, basically. Magnesium, we call it the master mineral drink because there's an estimate that over 70 to 80% of the population is severely and chronically deficient in magnesium. And so it is the master mineral drink because everything else depends on magnesium. Magnesium runs about 42% of the body's enzymatic reactions. We talk about that all the time. That's over 3,700 enzymes that magnesium runs that literally depend on magnesium to function, right? Enzymes are like keys to the ignition. And so why we chose bicarbonate is because the bicarbonate ion is so important in and of itself, where other forms like citrate, it's not really that effective, not really that special. Even glycinate, a lot of people talk about glycinate being that special, it's, it's really not. It's just an amino acid and that can actually cause some problems with some people that are very oxalate sensitive. They have a lot of oxalates in their body. Uh, magnesium glycinate could actually be a problem for them. So bicarbonate is a very powerful ion. Our body actually produces it. It's part of our acid buffering system, our pancreas produce. Again, it should be in our natural water supply, but bicarbonates act like little batteries. They supercharge your body. In fact, we had a lot of people that come to us saying that they experience like an electrifying effect when they consume our product. That's really cool. Now, if you are an athlete, if you're under a lot of stress, you're gonna have that effect. 
I want to talk a little bit about how you could have some serious side effects. So because it is potent, you do have to be aware of how to consume it properly. And there is only one way that we recommend consuming that is simple. It's just simply consuming it throughout the day in your natural water supply. So however much water that you normally consume, you're going to put about two tablespoons in your natural consumption and you're going to just sip on that throughout the day. You can also reconstitute the water with some sodium, perhaps some of your own potassium added in, some electrolytes, whatever you got, uh, some lemon water like I got here, and boom, you got yourself a really hydrating drink. So what I recommend is slowly consuming it throughout the day and never consuming it within 45 minutes of eating, at least before. Now, if you do consume it before, it can help stimulate HCL production, but the problem arises after a meal because sometimes people have very slow digestions, food hasn't really left their stomach as fast as they would like or what would be considered normal. And so you may need to move a little bit, twist a little bit, and then definitely keep this two hours away minimum is what I would recommend. I used to say 90 minutes, but I think it's more like two hours away from your food after your last meal. So again, we recommend just consuming this before a workout, during a workout, Maybe if you go on a walk, consume it, but also just sip on it throughout the day in your natural water intake. It's so much better. There's actually a few chemists that suggest that magnesium even absorbs better when it's consumed throughout the day rather than all at once. You can create a lot of problems pushing out other minerals, kind of creating lethargy or loose stools. It's a relaxant, but it can make you too relaxed and that can be a stress itself. We already talked about why we started this company, how to take it, why to take it, why bicarbonate is the most important form. We're gonna have some more videos about magnesium bicarbonate, stay tuned. If you got any questions on magnesium bicarbonate in our Shilajit, we did actually release our new sourced Shilajit tablets recently. Contact us for a discount code. We have a pre-sale going on currently and it's selling out like hotcakes, so uh, get it while it's fast or get it while it's hot. Get it fast while it's hot, whatever. <laughs> All right, peace, see you soon.